I used to love biking as a kid. But as a kid, you have lots of energy, you're eating a lot of sugar. Uh, as you get older, people tend to ride their bikes less and less often. One of the reasons being that they have to go to work. They have to do things where they don't want to be arriving to their destination sweaty. With electric bikes, you not only have the advantage of being able to arrive to your destination in a more composed manner, but you're also able to extend the range of where you want to travel. So instead of maybe having to take your vehicle somewhere, now you can easily take your electric bike there. My name is Oscar Stark. Uh, I'm an engineer and I've been working within the renewable energy field for the last several years. Once the inception of electric bikes came around, I got really interested in uh, having an electric bike myself. One of the things that was holding me back from owning one was the fact that they were so expensive. So, I started investigating why do they cost thousands of dollars and we actually couldn't find anything that made electric bikes really expensive except for the battery packs that were available at the time. This is why we came upon to build an electric bike for the masses that was affordable and with my team we were able to find a factory that was willing to produce these electric bikes for us at a price that was almost unbelievable. One of the things that I've noticed in the electric bike market is these bikes look really electric. They have these big ugly batteries attached to them. We wanted to make it look like a normal bicycle. Plus we wanted to have an electric bike where you are able to secure it in such a way that it would be impossible for someone to steal your electric bike. What we've done here with the electric bike is you have your options. You can either go with the throttle meaning that you don't have to pedal whatsoever and you can get to your destination without having to worry about being sweaty or being warm. But if you're looking to exercise, you can adjust the assist mode that comes with the bicycle. So the lowest one providing you very little assist so that you can still get a bit of a workout. And with the highest one, you're almost making no effort as long as you're pedaling. Another thing that we discovered is uh, by the time that you do get an electric bike to your door, uh, that electric bike has actually gone through several different uh, middlemen. So something that, you know, might have cost 20 or $30, for example, ends up costing you $200 or $300 when it gets to your door. Our goal with this campaign is to really launch electric bikes into the mainstream so that anyone that was interested in getting an electric bike, really the cost should no longer be a factor for them. It's the same thing with the cell phone revolution. Anyone with a flip phone nowadays, they would have that more as a retro fashion accessory. Everyone else has a smartphone. And if you don't have a smartphone, the question is why? Uh, this is the same kind of thing that we're looking to achieve with our Stark Drive electric bikes. Everyone should have an electric bike, and if you don't have an electric bike, that's fine. You want to be retro and you want to live in the past, that's really cool. Uh, but ultimately, you're probably going to have that retro bike for the weekends, and then when you're out going to work, you're going to be using an electric bike.